Well, greetings, guys. Uh, this is going to be unscripted, and it's a bit of me falling on my own sword. But it's uh, also about fantastic plastic, uh, a topic that we are about to make a very deep dive dive into. Um, one of our most recent members uh, joined the group, and in their profile picture, they had a fantastic car that caught my interest and out of ignorance I thought it was a car that he manufactured himself and I found out later uh, from a posting in our group that it was a GSM dart and also I wanted to follow my sword immediately and say I know nothing about GSM darts I'm just a dumb Canadian uh, living in the frozen north and have never seen one uh, have never even heard of them and so I did some Googling to find out a little bit about it. And it's an interesting and compelling story that we are going to dive into a bit. And having said that, I'm going to open up a page for us to look at. I'm going to share the screen. And I'm going to share this screen with you. This is the GSM Car Club of South Africa. And as you can see, there's some GSM darts there. Um, very, very uh, interesting page. Passionate people about a mark that they've created themselves. And how, uh, after doing some uh, Googling, I found out how the, the mark came to be, uh, where it was um, manufactured, first manufactured, and uh, the story of how they got the their um, project off the ground is exceedingly interesting. So I've uh, sent off um, a request to some of the um, people at GSM Car Club of South Africa to see if they would like to cooperate with us in creating a documentary story. And I'm very hopeful uh, that, that um, we will hear back from them. So I'm going to stop sharing that. And I'm just going to say um, that the story is meandering. I first, when I saw this car, I thought it was a um, uh, another one typical of a story that I had um, previously looked at, um, and which was the Elba Courier, and about the same uh, the same time period, some similar uh, stylistic. Um, Techniques were employed in the in the car. Of course, they uh, they both uh, have a very interesting race pedigree. Um, and having interviewed um, one of the owners uh, who owns one of these, I know that the the fiberglass shell on the Elba Courier is um, very light, and the car is light. And I know that uh, this the GSM um, Dart shares in my opinion, a similar kind of a um, platform uh, and I'm waiting for more information so that we can find out more about how it's made, when it's made, and who's restoring and keeping the mark alive. So I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to follow up with some photographs and I'm going to say, have yourself a great day at 7SWAT.